Hello, host Eric here. I'm feeling bruised and abused. Why? Not really bruised. I'm feeling uh, like just too much battling. Too much battling. Man, Tangle with Nick Knight was. Not what I wanted, I guess. <laughs> what I was in the mood for, exactly. I've been tangling all fucking day. I'm driving traffic and... Uh, yeah. Sometimes you just can't help but tangle. I mean... He's... Looking to tangle. And looking to play the I'm here to learn card. It's a fucking combo punch of... Extreme annoyance. <laughs> I like Nick. He's smart. He's smart. Really smart. Uh, but more than smart, even, he is a natural debater of the most pure type. He does all the stuff I do without having any training. He doesn't know what it is exactly. Like, he hasn't done all the meta work on it. Because he didn't need to. But. It's impressive. It's really impressive. You know. In fact, Taylor. Too. Taylor's the same way. Taylor, you know, Taylor's not that much older than this guy. These guys are both 20s. You can reach that at any number of ages. Uh, David Dosh has it. He's 19, former debater of mine, started in sixth grade. So he had it early, you know? The ability to, to not get pinned anymore. But of course, Nick and I both are subject to arguing and then forgetting what we're arguing about, but still persisting. Not really arguing about anything, just trying to find something to argue it out. He wants to, you know, uh, who knows? I don't know. And he really wants to win lost those things. And I can't help but be like, ah, I mean, I'm not going to. The thing is. I think I could win those things in an unfair way. I should try to do it, actually, this thing. I think I could pull an INFJ, basically, if I wanted to. I think I could turn into an INFJ for the purpose of an argument. Just for the argument. I wouldn't act like the INFJ, but I would argue like the INFJ. Which, in a lot of ways, I guess, would sort of be like acting like the INFJ. What do I mean by this? I mean... ENTP arguing style gives the opponent a lot to work with, unavoidably. Now, we're careful. This is, this is the skill that has to be developed. If we're going to give them a lot to work with, we better be really careful what we give them. I mean, we give them nothing. <laughs> give them a lot of nothing when you get good at it. You give them a lot, a whole lot of nothing. But you still give them a lot. And sometimes another ENTP, well, we can always try to turn those nothings into somethings. And, you know, you end up trying to battle like that, kind of, it's weird. Um, but it's incredibly interesting to me, the way that I see types. And how I feel about fightiness in general now, too, is... I still get fighty. It's tiring. It's exhausting almost sometimes. Not not in the moment. Not half a day, not three quarters of the day. But by the end of the day, my extra version is no longer turning converting that into juice. It's it's done. It's done with it. I'm done fighting, I'm done with the pushback. I like things to go smoothly, you know? Um 
it's not like I want to be cooperative. I don't want pushback. But it's different. What the kind of shit that Nick gives me. That's that's a growth opportunity for me. Because there are better ways to engage that stuff than what I was doing. I was, once again, allowing myself to get tangled up in and arguing about nothing for no good reason. I, neither Nick or I can remember what we were disputing, trying to find disputes on, and maybe found a dispute for a second or something like that. Oh, I treated the employees. That's right. I remember it now, actually. I treat employees, and I said, like, I don't like talking about trying to treat employees because it's not treating them like adults. He kind of came down against my S Corp thing. I turned it and said, well, it just means you only hire smart people. Uh, he should have turned it back and said, well, you don't need only smart people, though. And, uh, but he said he said something else. I don't remember what he said. He kind of, it kind of collapsed in my favor right there, I think. But then he seemed to think he won a point somewhere along the line. And, uh, and wanted to adjudicate the win losses of the thing. And so we did a little bit. I don't know. I mean, here's the thing. I want to think of myself as the fastest gun in the West. But I'm not the fastest gun in the West. I mean, I know other debaters who can hang too, you know? So, we're rare, but we're all the same. In the sense that we can't really beat each other. And... We can only do it perfectly with more or less grace. I'd like to change that a bit in the sense that I want to I want to win in a non-explicit way, in a non-verbalized way, in a non-definitive way that I think I did earlier tonight and somebody who wasn't as far along in the development arc. And I don't even know if anybody would... Well, I think Lightbulb got it. It was pretty subtle. And I was pretty proud of myself, actually for towing a difficult line. So, I like to do that more successfully, more frequently, more consistently. I guess that's the word I'm looking for, consistently. More of my mom. I want to go to Denny's right now and get some coffee and some food. I should go to bed. It's one o'clock. I gotta be, I gotta have to get up like, you know, 6.30 or something. But if I go to bed at two, I get four and a half hours, that's okay. I gotta go to bed. I got more than that last night. I do want some coffee. I haven't had any coffee today. It's driving me crazy not having a coffee maker. I, uh, I want to get one of those push down things. <laughs> Damn, why am I so psyched? I had a good day. I think my teams are doing well. I, uh, I don't know. Poo poo McChew. That's all. I gotta go. I'm also stressed about the channel. I feel like when I do this and make a video and put it up, I'm just uh, avoiding what I should be doing. I need to deal with this mountain of content somehow. I don't know what the fuck to do with it all. And, uh, we do a plan. It's a little slow in the... I mean, it's not slow at all. It's, it's going fine. But it's... Right now, I'm waiting for the next bit to be put into place. To make it really easy to download, chop it, and re-upload it. I mean, they can... The editing part they can just do on their own, but... 
I like it to, there to be a sort of recommend. If you don't have a video editor, you can just like you quickly and easily edit this. Here's Windows Movie Maker. Windows Movie Maker is fine. You know, I use it sometimes still. If I have a quick project, I don't want to open up Premiere. I'll totally use it. And yeah, it's not great. It leaves a little sort of black box around it, but it's easy to use. And it's a lot smaller than Premiere Pro, which is just a beast of a program. Okay, I really do have to go. You have to stop making me stay here. I have to go, I said. I want a woman. I'm hungry for a woman. It's been too long. Uh... Haven't been too long. That's a ridiculous statement. Too, what do you mean? Is there a time limit of not having a woman? It's ridiculous. But I'd like to have sexual intercourse with a woman. I mean, I don't mean to be crass. I'm just saying I'm single, single male and. Sometimes those sort of thoughts come to your mind, like, oh, that reminds me, I should check Tinder. <laughs> I forgot about it. Uh, I tend to forget about things like that. You know, it's like one little toy out of a bunch of women. It's not a super high priority, but in situations like this, I think, oh, yeah, you got to work at that, Eric. And then I go back to him, and it's just like, ah, fuck Tinder. Because, you know. It's a lot of digging for a little finding. And if you find it, they gotta find you too, and that makes it almost impossible. So, <sighs> I just think of this thing, I just think like, well, maybe if, if I could just, if this thing would just get bigger, maybe then I would, have more to offer, you know? And be more desirable. So, that would make it easier. I'd spend less time trying to get a chick and more time having one, you know? So, that'd be cool. But, I mean, I can't exactly count on it. I need to... I need to... Try to woo better or something. And that's why I'm going to go ahead and pay Dr. Lionel Sprinting Wolf Kazaklo $750 to teach me how to woo women. He's a Native American, so I know he's going to succeed in teaching me the important skills I need to know, including how to woo, the wooing process, what to do when wooing has been wooed, and post-wooing Woo activities. I'm tired, but I still want to go to Denny's. I think I should go, though. I think I should take a camera with me and talk, talk into it. <laughs> uh, do you ever shut up, Eric? Do you ever fucking shut up? There's one thing in life you need to do. Ask more questions. Listen to them. That's simple. I want to play some guitar too. I want to play a song. I'll make another video for that though.